a modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go, what he was willing to do. Visit the historic French Ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux. Safe. Family-oriented fun. Make it your next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812, the Civil War, and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Now, when did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He was a quiet boy. Good boy. Two Purple Hearts, the Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve. But often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home, always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money, and he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Uh, we out here on this mafia, baby. Where the keys Lincoln, at? Pick up the keys. Shut up, bro. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the mm -hmm. truck just like we asked. Mm -hmm. He greased his part and make it look good. Mm -hmm. You got mm -hmm. doubts, I'll mm -hmm. take the chance. You got damn right, I ain't taking no chance. Black Mafia, nigga! All right then, that's that. God damn, we should get going. You to me. Keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out now. Wait, wait, wait. Run, Negro. There we go. Start, you piece of shit. 
Oh no, no, oh no, 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 stop that shit right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna get a copyright strike. <laughs> what the fuck is the goddamn. Really? I can't go to the sound? Game. Oh, this is bullshit. I'm out here looking dumb as hell. Hold on. Cut that radio off, bro. Stop that shit. Don't I feel a little shit? Take it easy heading to town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Shut the fuck up. I'm driving. You want to drive, bro? Hold on, I'm way up over here and shit. I'm like, <laughs> yo, oh my lord! All right, we got this, though. Right, right, we got this. Keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, they're probably willing to do it a second time. I'll fuck you in the process. So answer me this: What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh? Come on, you gonna answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran every day. Anyway, we getting him onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand, and the leash to a pig in the other. Oh, my bad. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes to ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some... Goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, god damn. I know, not right? Fault, but not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall. They will do anything to survive. That better have been one delicious fucking pig. I know, right? Hey, motherfuckers do stupid shit, though. I wouldn't... Uh-uh, not me. I'm running all these lights. Move, bitch! Guards at the reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. Oh my god, I went the wrong way. My bad, bro. <sighs> Only I would do that shit. Only me. Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. Wow, I feel so stupid. Like super stupid, extra stupid type of shit. Back it up to the loading dock. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language, and well, I ain't like I never been called nigga before. I know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing poison. Ain't nothing poison. You know? The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. I know, right? Give me the fatty. I want the fatty, the fatty. Give me the fatty. When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. But my blip lap. I want the blip lap too. I'm trying to make sure I got this mic in the right place. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. 
I like the uh, accents. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. I can't wait to shoot you in your fucking face, bro. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? Two hundred thirty-eight thousand five hundred forty-six dollars. Small bills, mostly. I'll have Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. I'm gonna shoot the shit out of y'all, motherfuckers. I'm gonna shoot you too. I'm gonna shoot. No, that's you. I'm gonna kill you later. You need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut that fuck up. I'm gonna pop you in your shit, wounds. I'm gonna see all your brain meats. Bitch, no smoking indoors, shouty. Fuck you looking at, bro. Fuck you looking at. Shouty, you got a nice ass. Got a nice ass, shouty. Fuck you looking at, bro. Fuck you looking at, deputy dog. Call me a nigga. You a nigga. You ignorant motherfucker. Open the goddamn door. Throw your bitch ass in the furnace. These bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> Fuck you. Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that. Fadia. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here. It gets sent to Dallas and it comes back. It doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Wait, where we going, bro? I was taking a sip of my goofy juice. Do I really gotta burn the money? Now you locked in here with a big ass nigga. Look at all the monies. Figured it'd be bigger. I guess the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Ain't no way in hell I have a lot of big niggas stand behind me like that. Silent takedown. Get your motherfucking ass. You wanna call me a nigga? Yeah, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. No, I'm gonna throw his ass in the fire. I'm gonna throw him in the fire. I'm gonna throw his ass in the fire. Incinerate this son of a bitch. Take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. Okay, how do you sneak? Fuck I'm doing. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm finna fuck you up. Take cover. You know that house we've been renting now? Called over there last night. Told them I want Shut the fuck up, nigga. Bitch. The man, his name's, uh, My nose is itchy. God's laying into me, saying the lease gives them the right to a 30 day notice. That's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that's my. Shut the fuck up. Ooh. I want that. Nicky, get over here, man. And I want that. Switching weapons. Hmm. Alright, where we going, dude? Oh. I feel so stupid. Oh, I hope this domination skeleton got us. Is legit. The graphics on point, ain't they? I'll be damned. All right, go for it, Godzilla. Look at all the monies! It's beautiful. 
All right, I'm gonna take care of this room. You see what you can get from outside. Mm. Once these boys punch through that drill, we're gonna start throwing this down. Look at all that feria. I like the feria, the feria. Alarm? Shit, I didn't notice this cage was on a different system. All right, we're gonna hold off the guards until Danny's done drilling. Hey, we're gonna pull this off. We about to shoot some shit up in this bitch. Come on, pop your head up. Pop, pop, nigga. Shot the shit out you. Run, Lincoln. We need the Elmo. I need bullets, bro. Oh, my God. I was trying to get bullets. He ain't using the drilling and shot. Okay, they they did. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armor. Bust the door open. I'll watch our ass. Yeah, good luck. Look how many bullets I got. That nigga still moving. Did you die already? Move. Move, move. Get your weak ass. Move, bitch. Nigga. Move. Your weak ass. Dude. I, I kind of got the gist of this shit. Pop. Shit. Ooh, daddy likey. Come on, where you at? Where you at? These guys ain't fucking around. Face way worse than this over in Nam. Smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault. Watch for the drill. Deal with these assholes. I'd rather use regular pew pew for now. Dude, get your dumb ass in the vault, bro. Sammy had men all over the place. <coughs> One of them worked at a cleaners and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. So you're just gonna just take all those niggas right out, huh? You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't, they don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. Sorry I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. Have you seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> how was the trip? Me as how this is the first time in four years and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it, it was fucking great. <laughs> mm. What's new with the old man? And don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. 
Bro, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your car. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. <clears throat> Come on, dude. I think I got the gist of this shit already. Okay, what the fuck? Oh, they want me to mark the waypoint. Zoom, zoom, zoom. You say he's doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I gotta get used to. <laughs> I gotta get used to uh, playing this shit. Police awareness. It's too late. I'm gone. You remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want some. I say sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line that says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I gotta talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Hold on. Fucking around the side. That was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We are still clear of the high low in Frisco, just selling the French wall. Georgie's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. Georgie's a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah. All right. I made it! And forgot to cut my camera on my dumb ass. Seven says it's stupid, I'd be. Okay, what am I doing? I'm at Sammy's bar, bro. Oh. <laughs> I'm stupid. Front of the train station. Boy, I send you to bring Lincoln Clayho. Not the big nigga who ate him. Well, shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. I always did love corn whiskey. <laughs> I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realized Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. And so so proud of you. Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! It's so good. Nice seeing you, Lincoln. This shit getting good. I kept you in my prayers. 
I really appreciate that, Father. <laughs> now who wants to get shit-faced? <laughs> Woo! It's hard to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation. Fear. Guilt. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of it. And then one day a door opens and you're free to go. Just like that. The thing is, you made your peace with your terror and your fear of death. And now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door, one way or another. Man, that whiskey's gonna hoy in the morning. Hell, man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as you left it. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck you wanna crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. That boy said, I'm shell shocked. That PDSD getting to him. Hold on a second. I see a I see a book down here. Let me go over here and grab that. Oh shit, shop shop. Show they show they What's this? I'm taking that too. What the fuck? The room is haunted. But you stop moving around, Lincoln. The room is haunted. Y'all see that shit, right? It's haunted down here. It's... He said, not the big nigga that ate him. Said he's sleeping with the moonshine. Okay, where the fuck am I going? Oh, that way. I completely walked all the way around. I took it. We barely have two nickels to rub together. Now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ. Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you would have listened to me. What mess? It's not something you need to worry about, Linka. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to. Boy, I'm not warning you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, trucks all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for. Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. Forgot about that shit. How serious is it? Yeah. You know, Ellis. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Gone. Those people waiting on their food. So now have you oh, up over I here in the soup Link kitchen a and shit. Time once he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. 
Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay in hell. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. Well, I gotta go drive over to the fucking soup kitchen. Serve some funk ass soup. Oh, good. Well, then most likely. Three month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. Gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like to hear it, but they'll come around. You need to do what's best for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. What's up, nigga? Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at your hat, bro. Warm meal, warm heart. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my bad. Thanks. My shit just says <laughs> no witnesses. Oh, they think a serving gumbo. Blessings mine, ma'am. Damn, I ain't had some gumbo in like ten years. Ah, I'm happy to do it. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. Don't get old, son. It's a fucking shit show. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. Hey there, Lincoln. How are you, Regine? I'm good. Nice to see you around the hollow again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, mm -hmm. they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Megan, we got trouble! Run, Regine! Once we're done with you, Lincoln! Sammy's next! Volts. <laughs> Nigga! Taking no chances. Nah, bro. What you mean, homie? Pull out that blip black. Oh, I'm finna shoot him in the face. I was finna shoot the face. Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. You know, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Yeah, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Six, uh, seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on the law started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. This thing with the Haitians. It's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How are we gonna find him? 
Back in the twenties, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. You're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. But do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Do this quiet. Away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. Be careful, yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. Serie que se diverse se suscite hostility. Mama say, Mama Samu, Makusa, motherfucker. That's the only thing I heard. Mama say, Mama say, Mama Makusa. Mama say, Mama say, Mama Makusa. What you talking? I'm gonna say, I hope I ain't driving this motherfucker. Last thing they're gonna expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the road. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're I'm doing. I'm about to fuck. Some shit. Yeah. So you just couldn't pull up just a little bit closer, huh, you dickhead? Went to the dock. Okay. Stalk your enemies and avoid their attention. Enemies are wearing the show. You get too close and make a horse How do you whistle? Oh, you fucked up. Shit, shit, shit. I'm leaning this shit. No, I want lethal takedown. Hold on. Hold on. Uh-uh. I don't want that baby shit. How you do lethal? How you set my takedown to lethal? Oh, they not showing me how to do it. Additional content. Hold on a second. Y'all got to work with me for a second. Control the preset. Hold on. I want to see this shit. Give me a minute. I'm going on YouTube. 
I'm gonna set my shit to lethal. I'm gonna stab a bitch in the neck. Okay, hold on. What the shit? Mass did not do that. Now I don't know why you'd want to go through or non many take downs. And then you just go you wanna go to game settings by navigating them over here. And then you wanna go to game settings. Mass my, my, my only say game settings. Here we go. I found it. Dude. Hold on. Okay, I'm at game settings. And then you just go to menu takedowns. Hey. I can't use it now, you son of a bitch. Difficulty driving mode, subtitles, I don't even have melee takedown shit. It's fine. Oh my god, I am recording. Oh no, where you going? I'm gonna hit you back. I'm trying to finish this recording. Alright. Alright. Fuck him. No! 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 I wanna kill him. If I throw you down by the bayou, trap you in the bayou. Wee! Oh, get your ass out of here. Alright. Enough bull enough lollygagging and bull lollygagging. Enough bullshitting. Where do we go? Where do we go? We go down. Fuck am I going? Well, I feel stupid. Should have killed that old man a long time. Whistle. Think the boss was worried that Sammy would involve Marcano. Ask him to come down on us. That cracker asshole don't give a shit about some worn out nigga. Long as the money's coming in, Marcano don't care who's handing it to him. Who's handing it to him? The fuck? I really want to stab a nigga in the neck right now. I am so saucy. I guess I ain't unlock it yet. Huh? Should drop your ass in the river. Okay. 
Somebody gonna follow that shit. Well, cats out the back. Oh shit, don't go that way. Fuck you, bro. Oh, your ass up. How you like Soldier Boy now, nigga? Fuck you, mean I can't hit you. Fuck you, motherfucker. So your face off, bro. I prefer a shootout anyway. How your face feel? Okay. I'm gonna show you useless, bro. Fuck you. Who want Fuck you. You made a big mistake going after the hollow. The man you're talking about took me in where I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you. Crunch. You can't take those shoes, you fucking pig. Don't you do it. Uh, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. He kept me in there, locked in there, day and night. Beat me. Use me. I get you, motherfucker. You and your entire goddamn family. He's dead. He's dead. He can't hurt you anymore. It's over. Over? Over. <laughs> this is never going to be over. Pajong! Did she just say Mahjong? Right, bruv? Hold on a second. Let me get that. Oh, my God. Don't go that way, Ray. Okay. Hold R, B, then release. Trying to get all y'all looped in one spot. Fuck. I'm almost out of bullets.
Tot. Oh my god! Only I would die! Wow, I did not see that shit coming. It's alright, I'm gonna finish this shit up and, you know, that's a wrap for today. I don't wanna make this shit long as hell like usual. But I'm finishing this fucking mission, though. Yeah, 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 I got it already. I know what to do. Throw your legs up. Uh, I shot the shit out of homie. Oh my god, I hit the wrong button. Bullshit. I'm smoking. Get back, bro. Come on, bro. You asshole. Fuck, I, I heard it, I heard it, I heard it. Watch out. Get him off me. Fuck out of here with that, bro. I gotta get used to these buttons again. Elias. Fucking time. What the 
fuck up out of here. Holy moly donut shop. Always gotta nah. get you out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How to go with Baka? We came to an understanding. He stayed dead, not let him. Let's get back to Sam's. Can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. And this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on him. With them out of the way, things will calm down. Go back to how they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, just makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. Don't matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God. We all go sometime, right? I suppose. But Ellis, we don't need to talk about I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow is going to be looking to us or gunning for us. Just saying we got to be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well, that's not something we got to worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plans, all right? Yeah, all right. Oh shit, I'm flowing it. Fuck is that going on back there? My game is honey. My game is haunted. The thing Lincoln didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always gonna be more Haitians. Now if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going in. That's how Lincoln ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. They won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day. I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the web. Sooner or later, pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we gonna do about Marcano? Pay him his goddamn money one way or the other. Lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there to help. Now, they may not like it, but they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. I always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our six. Yes, sir. All right, yo, I'm gonna stop the video right here, man. So if you like the video, do your boy a favor. Hit that subscribe and like button for your boy. I'm out. Peace.